Today we were burying a time capsule and we're delivering a message to people 100 years from now. And the message is that we're all links that if we don't continue to maintain our bridges, if we don't do some of the basic types of work that keep these bridges and this infrastructure going, we're going to lose them. In 1986, when I was the chief engineer of the Department of Transportation, I had to shut half this bridge. It was so dire that we almost lost the entire bridge. We almost had a major collapse of the subways, the uh, roadways of the bridge, the uh, cables, where the cables wrapped around the steel bars called I-bars. It had corroded to the point where 50% of the area was gone. Once we sandblasted it, we found that it was gone and that weakened the entire bridge. So by doing events like this, we keep reminding people that bridges are machines. They have lots of movable parts. They rise and fall with the load. They expand and contract with the temperature. They sway with the subways going over and glide with the wind. They need to be properly maintained. This is the number one transit facility in New York City with uh, four tracks going across it. No other river crossing has that many tracks going across. So we have to keep this. This is the lifeline between Brooklyn and Manhattan.